Dropbox Business Tutorial, how to use Dropbox Business. Hi there you guys, in this video I'm gonna talk you through how to use Dropbox Business. This time it's different than the ordinary Dropbox that we're used to. This Dropbox right here allows you to manage large amounts of files, large amounts of data and share it with your workmates right on one spot, right on one place. And there is a mobile version and a desktop version of this app. It works pretty different from each other, but the settings and the setups are similar. So let's start checking them out. Before you can start using any, of course, any platform, most of, most of these days, they require you to sign in. So there's no, there shouldn't be any problem with that. You can start free, your free trial by clicking this tab right here. Or if you already have an account prior to watching this video, you just click on sign in right here. Or if you haven't done anything at all, let's click get started as it says right over here. All right, so once you do that, you'll see their plan right here. So these are the plan you can choose from. It can either be for a personal account or for a business account. So for the personal account, we have two options. We have your plus and family. And under the business section or option, we have three options or subsections. We have professional, standard, and advanced. Now, both are, yes, for the business. You can try it for free, but for the personal, there is no free trial version of those platforms. You either buy them right now for individual or for families. Now, for professionals, for business, it's a different type of plat or of service, I guess. So you can go ahead and try their platform for free. And of course, after a period of time, decide whether to purchase their service or not. So this is basically the uh, plan you can um, access when you avail any of these plans over here. Now for the features, you can see your check marks and X marks. If the features are available for that particular plan or not, just go ahead and check them out for yourself if you're curious about this. But let's try and check out its features. That's what we're here for, right? We're trying to see, we're trying to look how it will um, implement or, yes, implement the service. Let's try and click sign in over here. Okay, so there are two ways to sign in. You can sign in with Google or you can sign in with Apple. Now, I'm personally, I'm using Google, so let me click on sign in with Google and then let me just click my account right here at the pop-up window and then of course allow permissions click allow always click allow you guys it won't do anything if you click deny all right so okay we are already in so this is how the dropbox business looks like there's already a pdf right here if you, you know if you want to start up trying to get to know the platform the app just go and click this pdf file right here i think it has all the do's and don'ts or the no's that you should be aware of when you're using this platform. Let's click the file and let's see what's inside. So this is how the manual looks like. Basically, it looks like, yeah, a basic manual. Uh, a very pretty neat manual. You can check all the features, the important ones that you should note down. But of course, the video is here for you and I'm here for you to do that. So you don't have to do it. Let's try and check out, yeah. They have various features such yeah such as um, automatic sync it's a feature where you can enable it on your phone or your computer you can set um, folders in your computer or in your phone to automatically sync to the cloud so you don't have to manually do it you don't have to manually do the workaround let just let the app do the job okay so now here on the sidebar there are tabs that you can see here we have recent so these are the recents file that you already uploaded or you already have in your profile. You have here the well or the manual that we saw a while ago. So it's already here. It's under recents. And you can see here starred. So these are the ones that you'll put a star on, of course. Next are the photos. The these is a new tab when it comes to Dropbox because there is no separate tab for photos before, but you know, since maybe because they've noticed that a lot of collaborations involve photos when working with Dropbox, that's why they tried to implement a new tab over here on the sidebar, which is this one. So you'll have to check it out for yourself. It's a new feature, it's a cool one. It tries to like put your photos in one place so you don't have to do all the sorting out by yourself. So it's already right here. We also have 
shared folders that you can access this is where you check out folders that are shared by your workmates to you or the folders that you shared to your workmates and this is where you sort your file requests if there are people who want to access a certain folder um, you, this is where you allow their permission so if you can set that up for the security under the settings of the folder that you just made so once you request once you enable file request enable to access the file this is where you sort them out so you can see here open file requests closed file requests you can also create a new request by clicking this button and of course once you delete your file it will still exist in the cloud for a couple of time you can have the say on how long the deleted files will actually stay now from date for example from today up until today you can look at those files you can sort them uh, based on this uh, using this tab and of course deleted by you can also sort who deleted them for example there are multiple users on your account and then you want to you want to check deleted files from this point to this point and if it was deleted by like a certain user or by your employee provide their email right here if you're not the one who deleted it and then click on filter of course click on search and it will show you the deleted files this is one way good this is a good way to track accidentally deleted files especially when you're working with loads of files and with loads of people as well that's a really good way to sort it out do check it out for yourself if you want aside from the sidebar over here you can actually access this menu button right on the farther farthest yeah farthest is le left right of course it's left farther left side of your screen top most left of your screen there's a menu button right over here that you can actually go ahead and check it it's i've already like uh, um checked this prior to the video and there are a lot of cool features you can actually uh check there is a dropbox feature this is of course the dropbox feature that we're trying to use right now there's a transfer button there's a separate window there's a chapter separate, separate 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 tab for that let's check it out later on there's also paper this one lets you draft ideas wait a minute this one lets you draft ideas in collaborative documents so right here you can collaborate a document um if it's it's either a paper a concept paper stuff like that you can create that one over here and then share the link to other members or other uh, people in your group and then work on it together live while doing same corrections at the same time or inputting different ideas simultaneously at the same period of time so this is how that looks like right here okay what else is here we also have passwords you can there's also a password manager for your business. You can sync and store your passwords across devices. So you don't need to use a separate password manager for this. So if you already have a Dropbox business, it's really uh, not a need for you to use any other platform anymore. But there's a separate extension, of course, that you need to download when you want to use this password manager, Dropbox password. So it will make sense if you add this as an extension alongside with the Dropbox website application, website-based application, if you're using their services at the same time. Well, I think it's pretty useful for you to have the same password manager and at the same time work manager, work manager app at the same time because um, you'll have two services under, yeah, under one payment subscription and that's really cool. So, I think Dropbox is turning from a simple, you know, data managing application to a workspace management or like basically all of the other CRM platforms that's out there. It's starting to look like that because of this implementation right over here. There are tons, not really a ton, but there are a lot more of different apps, Dropbox based that you can actually explore over here. And it allows you to minimize the the window of where you access or where you try to get the services from and that minimizes the risk of your information being spread over the internet or over the web and and yeah dropbox is giving you all that security that you need because once you sign up to this platform one-time payment and then you'll have a password manager at the same time you'll have all of these functions like hello sign this is actually like when you sign documents online we also have docs and we also have capture but these are all of these like including replay um 
This is a beta feature, but it actually works. You can watch videos together with your workmates. You can capture screen recordings and video messages. This is imperative when you're trying to instruct some of your employees, some of your new employees. You're trying to instruct them how to access the app. There are like, you know, employees out there who are not really familiar how to use all of these platforms. Now, if you want them to have an access to that information, maybe it's really imperative that you try to learn how to use this capture function over here, but it's beta. So don't expect for the best yet. Now, yeah, that is all that there is you have to know about Dropbox business. If you think that this video has been helpful, let me know down in the comments below. If I miss something, feel free to say it down in the comments below as well. But that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.